Keep is an assault map that I made for Unreal Tournament. I actually tried making it twice. Once on the original Unreal Tournament, and then again I tried making it on Unreal Tournament 2004. The first incarnation failed, I went around building it wrong, and ultimately, for some unknown reason, the map was just falling apart. There'd be sections of the geometry that at times wouldn't appear, and then you'd be walking up this spiral staircase and there would be no ground. You'd just fall through the ground, and I had no idea why this was happening, and I couldn't counteract these problems, so I ultimately abandoned it. Then I tried recreating it to uh, in Unreal Tournament 2004. It went a lot smoother, but I also went at a slower pace, and ultimately I stopped production on it when I started work on the Ninja Mod instead. As I said, it's to be an assault map. There's three basic objectives that the player had to go through, and what was supposed to make this map unique is that each of these stages would have two different ways you could go about it, which would make it bit more challenging for the defenders. The design of the map was to assault a castle styled fortress. The first objective was to lower the drawbridge. Where the attacking team would spawn was in this little alcove protected from any snipers or such from the defending base. The first method of how to go about lowering the drawbridge was to actually take a little tunnel that starts right at the camp where the attacking team spawns. So they have a long route that they can take to the objective without any interference from the defending team. The tunnel just goes underground and then burrows into one of the turrets and from there there's a large spiral staircase that goes straight into the room with the drawbridge controls. The second method you could use was to run a little bit outside the camp so you would be seen and you'd be, for a brief moment, vulnerable to sniper attacks. But you'd ultimately jump into the moat and you'd follow that into passageway into a water treatment plant inside the fortress. It was designed with a large water wheel at the end of this passageway, so if you stayed down there too long, you would get crushed and die. But from here it was a simple path of getting out of the water, climbing up some stairs, and jumping into another water line, and jumping into another pipeline, which would take you into the other tower. And from there you would scale another spiral staircase. In the original version, this was extremely bottlenecked, because there was only a little tiny hole that you could jump in and out. And I tried to correct that by adding a couple more tiny holes that you could jump in and out, but it wasn't going to work that way. Uh, I had not redesigned that part for the second incarnation, but my intent was to simply have the line that was being taken from the moat to have a hole blasted into it which would have just flooded the bottom level of that tower. Much, much simpler than what we have here. Uh, the second objective was to gain access to a security control room and basically take control of the fortress, which would open up the last few passages to the end of the level. The first and primary method about going about this was to run straight from the camp down the drawbridge and into the main hall of the keep. From there, they would turn left and go into the library. From the library, they would gain access up to the upper floor, and from there, they could actually cross the bridge in the middle of the hall and get to the other side where the security room is. In the original version, the library was a little bit maze-like and, and again had another bottleneck with this tiny little elevator that you would take up to the second floor. Very poor design. Uh, when I revised it, it was a bit more open. I had not yet put in the bookshelves for the library, which would also have been uh, in the way, but in a 
but in a simple fashion so it wasn't like a maze. And then of course there were two a little bit wider staircases that the player could take so it's not a single bottleneck that's cramping down and all the players have to pass through. The bridge was never completed in the second incarnation. The second method was originally planned as a path around the outside of the fortress to get to a small grate that they could take into the other half of the water treatment plant. When I was revising it, I felt that wasn't a good idea, and I was going to change the plan some so that you would actually now be able to get past the water wheel of death and into the other portion of the water treatment facility. From here, in the original version, there was a hole blown in the wall that the player would be able to jump into an air vent which would blow them up one level to where the security control room was. And that air vent worked very well, but for the second incarnation I decided it would be a little bit more reasonable to replace it with some sort of service elevator instead. Once control of the security center had been taken, uh, the final locks were opened to get into the keep itself, which would primarily be a straight run up a bunch of stairs to get to the center, where there would actually be a character there that for the final objective you would actually assassinate. And I was strongly under the notion of keeping it so that you could also uh, shoot them with a sniper rifle from outside the keep but in neither version I never got far enough in development to actually incorporate that. I figured it would be a little bit important to have at least the final objective be one that had only one way to go about defending it. Just in case your team somehow just got creamed on the last two objectives because you simply everybody guarded the wrong objectives. But overall, it was supposed to be a map that was easier to take than to defend, or technically it was really just supposed to be fun to defend because you had a bit more challenge. Not necessarily hard to defend, but just a fun challenge to defend. I don't have any plans to recreate it for Unreal Tournament 3, most notably because there is no assault in Unreal Tournament 3. But if I were, it would be considerably easier with the changes they've made to the systems. I probably could successfully create the map this time, but it's not in my interest to do so. 